up y'all all right so i'm making some dinner for us tonight i had already started and then my hubby so sweetly reminded me hey did you record that so i just started recording but i'm making a um like a chop salad sub with some portobello mushrooms in it so this is what we got so far this is the chop salad part and we got lettuce and green peppers and cucumbers and tomatoes and avocado and onion and red onion and I gotta drizzle some olive oil in it and I put a little lime juice and then I gotta put my seasonings in it so I'm gonna put a little bit of salt a little bit of parsley basil more a lot a bit more because why not it wants to be nice and fine I wish I had one of those little you know those little rolling chopper things I think one of those would be cool to have let me know if you know what I'm talking about they use them in subway when they do their little chop salads in subway they make those little um chop salads cutting roller thing but anyway so while I'm chopping I'm gonna go ahead and grill our bread just got some little wheat buns that I picked up <laughs> seasoning on it marinated in some oh, it smells good balsamic and soy and I don't know I think I put some red vinegar I think no I did balsamic uh I don't know salt pepper parsley and something else I put in here olive oil I don't know but they've been marinating all day since we've been out so those are mushrooms put like some butter or something on that bread but I'm gonna put some hummus 
on it for the spread, so I didn't butter it up. So, in here, I'm gonna finish up my salad. It's raining, y'all. Oh. But it was a beautiful day today. A little cloudy, a little overcast. Over but it's raining now. It's one of those just get in the bed and cuddle up kind of evenings. But I got some work to do first because I got to finish editing a video. So I got to cuddle by myself. Yeah, a little self cuddling going on at least for a little while. <laughs> Self-sufficient cuddling. That does sound kind of weird, doesn't it? Oh, my bread. know that in a real size kitchen under different circumstances I would have actually cooked my portobellas first but then if I cooked my portobellas first then I would have had to clean the pan a little bit to do my bread and I'm not trying to do that because we have limited uh well, we don't have limited water, but we gotta dump our tanks, so we're trying to keep our tank levels low. So now that means I only have to clean the pan one time instead of two times. So that's why I did it that way. But anywho, the joys of RV living. This salad looks good. I could just eat this. Good gracious. We'll show y'all outside right now, but then I gotta mess with the camera and stuff again. So I don't want to do that. So when I get done, I'll show y'all outside. What you doing over there, babe? Watching you. <laughs> He's watching me with his eyes closed. But I know what he's really doing. Sometimes when we're cooking, 
we got to take down our little fire alarm because it's super extra sensitive. Sometimes that thing goes off even when it's just hot steam. Dry bread, you gotta put enough on there. Set me, I like dry bread. daughter's calling me. I'm going to have to call her back. Very good, very good, very good. Alright. Let's see how we gonna construct this. Mm. 
this is why I needed them to stay together. But, you know, make it work. I guess this is a chopped salad portobello, grilled no, portobello sandwich sub. Sub sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. I need more stuff on mine, but it's good. Alright, y'all. I'm done. I'm gonna enjoy my food and calm a child back. We'll see y'all on the flip side. <laughs>